We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Not on our waist, not on our dash way. Wagwan, Wagwan, that's great. Chef John Marks again, man, presenting to you fried dumpling. Yeah, man, I ate like, but at different level, people over and over. I asked you, say, yo, when you have a job, the fried dumpling. Take a while. But the time is finally here. You get a lot of reviews from friends and family. People post me them say, yo, the fried dumpling are one of the best me ever tried. So today, I start out the thing. I want to get phone feedback on this whether or not you love it. Very simple, but the techniques that we use if you deal with the thing just make a major difference. So judge for yourself and see what I want. First thing you want. So bowl or a siphon for flour. I will see for flour, just get it light and airy, you know? Sugar, salt, baking powder, some nice room temperature butter. See, I go straight in with the hands and rub in the butter for just get it like a breadcrumb consistency and incorporate all of the dry ingredients. Alright, so now reach the consistency you want. So you see it look like slight breadcrumbs. So you don't know so the thing shell are ready for go. You know what I say? So, so I make a center half the amount of the water first. Just mix that in. Add the rest. Straight in. For my fried dumpling, I'm gonna find over the years, the softer the dough are the better. And if you get the best result in your fried dumpling, it's good for just make the dough and make it sit overnight. And it kind of proof and trust me, best fried dumpling you will ever have. The butter give it a little bit of flavor and the outside just flaky. I just scoop and fold that. Just free to use it and then take off the excess sticky flour. Rub down the sides then. I get the whole of the flour then. Nothing now, uh, yes. Nothing now, uh, that's right. You know, I overwork the dough. So as soon as all of the dry ingredients um, incorporate, it just stop. So at this stage now, you have to turn on your eye. If it's this recipe, I use 5 cup of oil. Heat up to around 290 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want to put it up in a hot oil and that will give the perfect fried dumpling. You feel the message? You need it just enough for you to put it up in there then it start brown up on the outside. Because if that happens, the outside will crisp and inside raw and then you don't find it just tough. We don't want that. So I'm going to show you the real way of the dough. So this is the dough after we make it. You see how it's sticky? Don't feel away. That you want. The dough is soft and sticky. So this one, I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to use the battery make from last night to get the best quality for me at that one. Forward, I'm going to show you what I want. Alright, so this is the one that we just make. See, you can see it look lumpy. But when it sit, it will get nice and smooth though. And this is the one that we make from last night. See, it's soft and you know how far them lump. You see the ear pockets. So you know, see it's nice and it's still sticky. Dry flour and then the pan where I go put it up in pan, you want to dust that too so there's a stick at the bottom of this. Cut that in a two. Kind of give it a stretch like that. Roll it up. Stretch out my dough. Now I get 10 fried dumplings out of this. Do it in your palm. Set your finger then put your thumb like this in between a pointing finger. It create like a ball in your hand. Use your finger them, the four finger them, put them underneath the dough like this. Do have a bounce off of the walls of your finger and get it nice and round. So there, let's see how the dumpling and bounce from my finger them. So it a bounce. So that create a nice little bar. See? See there? Nice and round. Have that at the bottom all is well. But you do it on the board, same process. So if you have like a lot of dumplings for me, you see that you just should have to cook a lot in a short space of time. You just work them for the board. So the same process. See that? 
nice ball then. You don't want to hold your touch and dry out. So lightly dust it like that. Alright, so we have a test for all now. One of two ways how you can test your all. Use a thermometer. So we select Fahrenheit. We are looking for 280 to 285. Alright, so 282. Second way of test your all, you add a piece of dough. Just a small amount. And if that floats up too quickly, you know the oil is too hot. So the first thing you want to do, get your dough and squeeze it like that. Get an indent. Just squeeze it with your two fingers. Squeeze it out. Drop them in. See it? Perfect oil. You don't want it too hot. Just tiny bubbles. You know a lot of people go there and say, yo, the oil too cool, the dumpling are going saggy. No. The thing is, you want the dump the oil to soak in the dumpling, then it gradually turn up the heat and that in itself will cook the interior of the dough and then now crisp up the outside and have perfectly soft, fluffy dumpling inside and crispy on the outside. And if you find the oil that fry up too fast, you add a bit of cold oil, cool it down. That's the other one. A temperature oil. Now bubble too fast. Take its time, soak in the dumpling and watch them float to the top. Alright, so I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna switch over the pot because remember me tell you, you want the dumpling them to basically hug each other, see? Too much room in between dumpling them. Turn up the oil a little bit to get back the heat. So something like that, you want them to hug each other. So that you want them to hug, so that when you turn them like this, you get every side evenly brown. Alright, so you want to ensure that you check them every so often. Rotate what you rotate, take up them one here, drop some different one down there. So, so we start get some color upon them now. And see what they may start burst now? That you want because you know see the oil start penetrate the dough. Duration of the cooking 15 to 20 minutes. So how you know your fried dumpling ready? Light like a piece of paper. Yo, it's not getting no better than this, you know. Fried dumpling at its finest. Pretty flakiness. Kinda hot still, but my hand them tough. Watch this. Watch this. Nice and soft, you know, as promised, you know. I know my meat piece. You love me like fried dumpling. Mm -mm. Ding -shin. Thank you very much for watching. And do remember to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, safe travel by the gravel. As always, go and big up on yourself. See you another day for later. But know your fast girl, you never tell me. Cause I know any, any man can feed you. So that's why I always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.